I absolutely love my Rodecaster Duo, but unfortunately it is giving me some issues and I'm going to show those to you right now. As you can see right now, I am on channel one and uh, I'm on the um, dynamic microphone, the Mackie EM99B, <clears throat> but I also have a boom microphone set up here. This is an MKE 600 and I'm going to switch over to that now and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so now you're listening to the MKE 600 and I'm going to give it some silence. So you can see on the screen on the, actually I'm going to switch back over because you can hear that like really hum, not hum, but it's like, it's like this low level noise floor. And you can see in an OBS as well. Yeah, so that's what it looks like in OBS. And now I'm going to switch it back over to the EM99B and you can see it just drops off. Now I'm back on the EM99B. And you can see how it just completely drops off. So there's something going on. I think it has something to do with the phantom power in the Rodecaster Duo, which is a real bummer because I really like this device. Now I've got to send it back to Rode. And I'm a little perturbed because when they send you a shipping, they actually tell you where to ship it and they give you the shipping label, but they don't actually pay for shipping. So I have to send this Rodecaster Duo out back to Rode, but I've got to spend... I don't know how much it's going to cost me, at least $30 or $40 to send it out to road because I obviously want to send, you know, make sure that it's insured properly so that in the event that it gets destroyed on the way that I'm, I'm not out 500 bucks. So that's actually very annoying that they don't provide shipping. They don't pay for shipping for a device that is clearly not working as it should. Um, thankfully, I have this device. I have this as the SSL2+. Plus. This is what I was uh, upgrading from when I bought the Rodecaster Duo. So I'm gonna to have to go back to this, at least temporarily, to um, continue to do videos like this. Anyway, so I will keep you updated on how I make out with the Rodecaster Duo and how it performs once it comes back, and we'll find out what the actual issue was. So stay tuned.